fellow collectors of uh, One Six Go and uh, audience of Toys TV. This is Speaker Talk episode 81. I think it's 81 or 82. Anyway, this time we bring you the Dark Run Toys, the, the number four figures, the four figures in the series Dark Run. And um, this, this is very large one this time you know with a whole you know a stone like coven as is part of accessory or you can say it's a base or diorama, diorama. and a lot of you know very elegant and details accessories with very you know specific and typical design so you can see all the stuff is very well made specifically for this figures and this is the bat and this bat is um, a gift including in the exclusive versions and this figures the production quantity is really really small in the whole world less than 500 pieces worldwide so it's a very worth to collect if you are collecting the first three figures um actually the series turned into some other sub series and some more stories so um there will be some new figures coming up in july as we received the news from Dark Run Toys and uh, yeah this is not part of accessory but this is sold out don't ask Dark Run Toys if they is available still because it's also out yeah and recently we find this is the trend of the market that uh, the supply is not so abundant and uh, the demand is good but you know sometimes it's dropping but you know people tend to buy stock items when they see the real stuff after the release but you know all manufacturers tend to be safe and they won't make excessive supply of the product so if you didn't pre-order or book or order from your local retailers etc you might not have one or at least you cannot get one at normal retail price because the price of the second hand or secondary market will be raised so I think uh, being exclusive with the same retail price with this bet is really really happy because I think only this bet is worth a price of you know maybe 20 us yeah 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 you might not agree with me but i think this is worth than 20 us dollar and because the i i've been told that the the neck and the arms can be banded but right now i don't have the hands to to bend them but i believe it can be banded and even if even if they cannot be banned this is already a very very detailed and high quality final products yeah this is a final product it's not any samples of low types so this is what you would get if you have already pre-ordered one maybe your figure is on the way so wonderful bat and this coven make it stone like and I think it's made of polystone or poly resin, so it's very look-alike real life stone and with a lot of detailed structures parallel to the storylines that Kevin Lee made right so we go to the accessory again this part they have a uh, semi-transparent parts
I cannot recall the name, but it is so elegant. We go to some spare extra hands. You can see they are so detailed made. It's inside the coffin and also you can see the inner part of the coffin. It's also sculpted, painted, you know, very good quality. You know, not just the painting outside or detail outside, because the inner part of the coffin is still made, manufactured, very detailed. And go to the parts. This is another one with semi-transparent parts look like a red jewel and this one this cup is okay I think it's the best accessory in the set this is a cup but made of a human school you know, very very lifelike but horrible horrible you know very horrible one. Okay, another part. We are not looking at Avengers figures, but there's also a cube. Again, I don't know what is the cube for. There is another one, like a dagger. A dagger. You know, all the parts and accessory is well made and designed with its story. So I think uh, I have to give applause to the designer's Kevani because he might spend a lot of effort in design every single accessories, including in this set, also including the coffin, certainly the figure itself. Uh, one thing to mention that uh, Kevani just won a designer awards in one of the biggest toy show in Hong Kong called Toy Show Asia Toy Awards he won the prize of the best designers of I think it's the best series designer series yeah so it's congratulations to him yeah it's old things but you know old news but I didn't mention in the program yet because I have to have a chance to you know to show his stuff yeah I'm sorry though this is a bigger talk but it's an unbox program but unboxing program but you know you cannot buy one if you didn't pick all the one of yourself so we can see all the details once again a very typical Kevin design and very good quality in the design and the final products yeah people people might say uh, the Joker will be the, the second one will be the best in the series of the four figures but if you can see the details of this number four yeah the design you may you might not uh, like this one because this is you know this is a struggler this is a struggler and um, very horrible face um, but you know but the detail and designs I think is already the best one of the four you know the first one a school like figures second one a joker like figure and the third one is like an egyptian character. go to the left eyes you know you can see it looks like some designs of the mask from venice look like the italian venice designs of the face mask right and combined with the dracula and some fantasy horrible film you know with a skeleton like chest but with a lot of noble like very noble type noble type of jewelry and accessory on his costume but also some armors like a noble light looks like a yeah the noble character of a Dracula very detailed belt waist belt and decorations of his costume so make it like a nobleman you can see all the details now when I do this program I think uh, I may regret to have one myself pre-ordered if I didn't 
but you know because of my job I seldom collect crackers but this one I might consider if I have enough budget and spaces to store him in my point of view this is the best one of the four figure release yeah though the though the production quality and you know the popularity is not the best one but I think uh, if you paid the money already you will regret for this one yeah this is very funny um, the 1-6 scale collector collectible market is always like that you know people tend to wait and people tends tends to regret yes I try to strip the back size of the of the figure oh very good details if you like the design I think this one you you will love it really much and for myself I will raise it as one of the 10 best figures 1-6 scale release in the market because of the details the sculpturing the paintings you know it's really high grade top one top quality the only complaint is the costume can be better but you know for the structuring designs very good you know people like tends to be like a superhero like superhero or you know very handsome guys this one is not your cup of tea but you know if you like horrible things you are if you are spawn collectors or if you are comic collectors lovers you might accept it this time and this is really really good figures you can see the painting the paint job wonderful paint jobs yeah but i have to mention that to be careful because of the quantity is so low i guess some of the parts and accessory is made of poly resins that means this is not made from injection mode so they are not of pvc maybe they are a little bit fragile but it's good to have this right but the manufacturer cannot do a i still mold for this small quantity we should understand this part but it won't affect the details and the quality but only a little bit fragile but nowadays the material for making this poly resin is more stronger so it's not so easy you know if you drop one of the skull on the ground it won't break like this bat if you drop on the drop on the um, on the floor it will broken okay this is you know loose it's not breaking it's too loose it's too loose but um still very good yeah but this this part could be fragile but anyway yeah i think you will be happy for this video because it's already very long time in 30 minutes and with a lot of uh, explanation from me though it's not so good pronunciation in english and anyway this is good yeah so thank you for watching figure talk this is rhino from toys tv enjoy and bye bye